In the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, dear viewers of Clearing the Mist, it's a great pleasure to meet you in another episode of your program. In this episode, we are going to deal with what we call Acts of the Heart. أعمال القلب or الأعمال القلبية. In a previous episodes, in a previous episode, we dealt with acts of worship, which are العبادات in Arabic. But in this episode, we are going to see another kind of acts, namely the acts of the heart. These include things like التقوى, which can be translated into piety. It can also include at-tawbah or repentance. It can include tawheed and it also includes or they include tawakkul. We are going to spend a few minutes dealing with each one of these terms and trying to clear the mist from them. Dear brothers and sisters, let's have a look at the screen. Acts of the heart. The first one is taqwa, which can be translated into piety or fear of Allah. The intense desire to avoid everything that is against his will and law, Allah's will and law law. It can also be explained as the love of Allah and the fear from him that a Muslim feels. It can also mean guarding one's tongue, hand and heart from evil. It can also be righteousness or piety and good conduct. All these are possible explanations or possible definitions of the term taqwa, which is one of the acts of heart or the heart. Our second term is at tawbah. Tawbah without the definite article al or at tawbah, where the la, the consonant la which is the second uh, sound in the definite article, becomes assimilated to ta. Then we don't say al-tawbah, but we say at-tawbah, and this can be translated or rendered into English as repentance. Repentance means returning to correct action after error. A Muslim and any human being is likely to make an error. And if you return to correct action after you make an error, then this is tawbah or this is repentance. It indicates a subjective state of sorrow and concern over sin. You are concerned over the sin you committed and you have the intention sincere intention to correct it or to return to correct action after making this error. You are concerned about making this error and you are intent on correcting your path or your way after committing this sin or this wrong doing. Another term which is related to the acts of the heart is uh, at-tawheed, tawheed or at-tawheed, and at-tawheed means the divine unity, which means unity in its most profound 
sense, unity in its deepest sense. It refers to the belief that there is only one real and ultimate deity that is Allah. Then a tawheed means the oneness of Allah. There is only one real and ultimate deity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, exalted and glorified be he. Tawheed is of three types. Do we have one type of Tawheed or is Tawheed one and only thing? The answer is no. Dear brothers and sisters, let's go through the three types of Tawheed. The first type of Tawheed, and don't worry about the definitions now, we are only concerned about naming them and pronouncing them as they are in Arabic, and then will cover each one of them in a couple of minutes. Tawheed al-Rububiyyah. Tawheed al-Rububiyyah. The first type. The second type is Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah. Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah. And the third and last type is Tawheed al-Asma'i wa-Sifat. Tawheed al-Asma'i wa-Sifat. Let's now spend a few minutes trying to define and comment on each one of these three types of at tawheed Tawheed al-Rububiyyah, unity of lordship. Then al-Rububiyyah means lordship. Tawheed can be translated into unity or oneness, and al-Rububiyyah can be translated into lordship. The belief that there is one, there is only one Lord, the master and the creator of the universe, who oversees it, who oversees the universe and everything that exists in it in every moment. He never stops doing this even for the slightest uh, span of time. How about the second type of Tawheed? This is Tawheed al-Uluhiyya. By Tawheed al-Uluhiyya, we mean unity of worship. And this means to believe that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah alone with no partner. Because if you believe that there is anyone besides Allah that has the right to be worshipped, then this is kufr or shirk associating others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala glorified be here then we um, must believe that there is none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who deserves to be worshipped with no partner whatsoever the last and third type of Tawheed is Tawheed al-Asma'i wa sifat Al-Asma' names and as-sifat attributes. Then Tawheed al-Asma'i wa sifat means unity of names and attributes. What does this mean? None can qualify or name Allah except as he named or qualified himself then if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala glorified and exalted be he describes himself as all wise or all merciful and so on and so forth then we must believe in this and we accept the way he qualified himself as he did in the glorious Quran. None can qualify or name Allah. We cannot qualify or name Allah in any other terms besides the names and terms, the 99 beautiful names of uh, Allah, uh, which a Muslim 
should familiarize himself with and the names and attributes referred to in the glorious Quran and in uh, Al-Sunnah Al-Mukaram Al-Musharraf none can be named or qualified with the names or the attributes that belong only to Allah then we are not allowed as Muslims to give the names or the qualities to any other person besides Allah then it's not permissible of course to call someone with any of the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of course you may have someone who is wise but we should always remember that wisdom as an attribute of human beings is completely different from wisdom as an attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then even if you have similarities we should always remember that uh, these are not anything to be comparable. We must also believe in all the Quranic verses and prophetic traditions regarding the attributes of Allah. The last of the terms dealing with the acts of the heart, al-a'malul qalbiyya or a'malul qalb, is what we call at-tawakkul. By at-tawakkul we mean putting one's complete faith in Allah and reliance on Him alone. Then it involves two things, complete faith in Allah and reliance on Him alone and on nothing or no one except Allah, exalted be He and glorified be He. In a previous episode, we dealt with what we called acts of worship or al-ibadat, which include as-salah, prayer, as-zakah, as sawm fasting, and pilgrimage, al-hajj. And in this episode, we dealt with another kind of acts, which is acts of the heart, which included taqwa, Tawbah, Tawheed in its various types, and At-Tawakkul. This brings us to the end of our episode. Until we meet again, I leave you in the care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Such lust, la ilaha.